I'm Nerd Guy, and Minecraft is serious business. On. Hello everyone, this is WCD Gaming, and we have Spongy, Mega Higo, and Dilo. And yeah. Spongy is extremely hyper tonight, so I'm sure you're gonna get a whole bunch of laughs out of him. Alright, I'm starting this map. Oh, Nerd Guy left, by the way. Yeah, I know. Did I say Nerd Guy's name? Mm -mm. Which means this is no longer serious business. Yep, uh, it... You didn't say his name, but I'm just telling the audience. He's okay, yeah, Nerd Guy is not with us. He has. Uh, he had to feed. He some... died. He has Ebola. He has Ebola. <laughs> yeah, he's Ebola. <laughs> yeah, there we go. He has gone to her for some We all were on the same train of thought. Alright, we can't ally. Yeah, we all... we, we can't join in the same general area. Also, we can't ally with each other until actually someone else joins. Unless yeah, we want to okay. actually kill each other. Um, so. um, you know what, you guys? Since I'm so used to it, I'm just gonna go for Southeast China and be the lone wolf. Except okay. for oh. North Korea. Oh, North Korea. Did he die or not? Uh, Sean Moon? Yeah. I don't know. I heard something like he got like kicked out, or I don't know what happened to him. I heard he got the gout and got so fat he died. Oh, like, was that it? Pretty much word okay. for word. What, what are I you heard. gonna do, uh, Mega Higo? Okay. Are you even? Did you leave the map? Yeah. I'm clicking. Ready. Why did? So I take it you're gonna take Europe. Yep. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, I'll oh, take Italian. Yeah. 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 It's a meatball, a spicy marinara sauce. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Is that how people in Italy really talk? Because I've never heard anyone actually talk oh. like that except for a soup. Well, they speak uh, in a, uh, the language of Italy, which would be Italian, so it's somewhat off. Oh. But I mean. Bobby Boopy? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's it. That Why sounds more like an African up? stereotype than an Italian stereotype. Don't be racist. I ain't doing anything. That was me speaking Why? Why, Why didn't you join at war, Mega Ego? Why aren't you in the game? I don't know. Did you hit the join ready then? Button? Yes, like a million times. Ready button makes you ready for anything. Did, did you, are you playing this on your uh, Chromebook? Because that might explain a lot. Uh, my Chromebook is broken. <laughs> I can't really play no, all that. Actually. That's what I am saying, and it'll explain a lot Chromebook? why you're not joining. Broken? I would I'm never imagine such a thing. <laughs> <laughs> what up, guys? Is it like the iPad 6 where, like, if you just touched it, bends? It's worse. <laughs> it's worse than that, like. Oh, God. Michael's pinky toe. Why'd you step on This it? is a 100% true story, alright? I had my Chromebook because <laughs> our school decided that Chromebooks were a good use of technological money for technological funding things. And <laughs> while we didn't know anything about Chromebooks when we were young and foolish, <laughs> uh, we learned that Chromebooks tend to break when you touch go. them. As an example, <laughs> I was rather angry one day, so I decided to close the screen with one finger instead of grasping the top with my hand like a normal civilized person. <laughs> So, I pushed down <laughs> on the screen, and, lo and behold, a noise came forth. <laughs> That's just wonderful. So, immediately, I opened it up. And, of course, there is pretty much a imprint of where I placed my finger on the back of the screen. By the way, these things are like an inch thick, almost. So, <laughs> yep. there's probably like nothing in between there and the screen. And there's pretty much an imprint of blackness that's slowly spreading from where my finger was. In a natural reaction, realizing I had to do most of my homework on this machine, I brought it to the technological fixer person. They were like, you put too much pressure on the screen. I'm sorry, what? I closed the book. No, you put too much pressure on the screen. Okay, let me imitate for you what I did. And I open the Chromebook again, and this little spot is just spreading. It's about half the screen now. So I poke the other half the screen that's still good. I close it with one finger, and it goes <laughs> again. Second damage spot. Uh. And since then, they have made it mandatory for everyone to purchase the Chromebooks with covers. And that's how I influenced my school. 
Oh, hey, there's a Johnny G G G G G G or J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J J What am I hearing right now? Bone sex. It, well, it isn't. It's that. Well, we at least it's not nerd guy again. Hearing two Serious ten year olds. Serious business guy. Yep. How did that even start up? Like. I I originally said that, and oh, then that God. became a thing. Uh, now we will forever remember him. Oh hey, Johnny J J J J J J joined near um Mega. Oh. No, he didn't. I want to. Oh kill good. Him. Whoa, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah him. good luck with that. Remember, make I'm love, not peace. I'm shaking my fucking heart. Make love, not peace. Be peaceful, love. I carry Just a knife love. with me all the time. Yeah, you be like that guy in the Canterbury yeah. Tales who raped someone and then got to live happily ever after. Because <laughs> he knew what women like. <laughs> Swear to God, that's a true story. Look it up. <laughs> it was serious business, guys. Oh, it, it was serious business. I could summarize this thing for you. We had to do the college English, and I still don't understand why. But so, there's this knight, and he's kind of kooky, but he goes and he rapes someone, even though he's a knight. Knights are supposed to be all chivalrous and stuff. So, he, he gets brought to the king, and he's like, you know what? Let the queen figure out this one. <laughs> and so, the queen says, oh. have you and a J to find out what women want most. And he goes, oh, okay, okay. And instead of running like a normal person would have done during that year and day, he actually tries to find out what women want most. And this does not end well for him. A year and a day go by, and he's like, okay, well, uh, yes, I might as well go turn myself in and die. And so he does this. He turns himself in. But just beforehand, he meets this really, really old, creepy lady who's like, I know what women want most. He's like, okay, tell me, tell me, tell me. First, you have to agree to my deal. So he agrees to her deal. And then you don't know what it is. And he tells the queen what women want most. What she is. Okay. It is that they want to make decisions for themselves. And so he's like, okay, cool. I get to walk off scot free. And then the old lady stands up in front of the queen. And he's like, this guy agreed to marry me. And he's like, shit. And he gets married with this old woman who he hates, because she's old. And then they fight a lot. And she's like, you know what? Since you complain so much, you can have one choice. You can, I can be old and be the best husband, wife ever, or I can be young and beautiful but be the worst wife ever. And so he's like, you know what? I don't really care at this point anymore. You can do whatever you want. And she's like, that's what women want most. And she turns into a young woman and loves him forever. And he lives happily ever after, after he raped someone. The end. <laughs> that's a true story. <laughs> also, Spongy, I'm going for North China. North Don't mess with China. me. Okay, you can take Southeast China too. If you have Yay. To I'm going to take Hanoi with one tank. You're gonna take Mongolia. Mongolia. Mongolia? You Mongolians, stop turning down my city wall! <laughs> God. Yeah, it sounds like serious business. That's why he's taking him over. Oh God. Oh God, the Mongolians are here! The Mongolians are coming, the Mongolians are coming! So said Paul Revere. Wow, uh, the hey, orange guy's really kicking your butt money. there, Mayhew. Too bad, I don't have any money. Oh, so close. So far away. Yeah, so far. Little block, little block. I have no clue. What? One of you guys should send a few boats I over to North America just to help out Mayhew. I over, because then I will have more money to do that with. Except there's already and colonize the new world as we speak. 
No, ignore that. Gloss that over. <laughs> Do he didn't say that. <laughs> there were no Native Americans in America. We named it America because there were people here, but they were dead. <laughs> oh my God. We found them like this, says every parent who murdered them ever. I don't know. Ever. <laughs> we found them. <laughs> hey, that's what Casey Anthony said. Shit, that worked for her. You guys remember Casey Anthony, right? Nope. <laughs> yeah, you remember. He knows what it's all about. Yes. She was crazy. She put duct tape on her kid and she's like, I found him like this. I'm pretty sure she actually did that. <laughs> Dude, I'm hungry. I'm gonna BRB. Don't end oh, the man. turn. End the turn. Okay. Don't. If that's what you really want. <laughs> yes. We must make the it's decision what women for want. you, because that's what Tyler would want. Wait. Is anyone else hungry? I'm kind of hungry, even though I just downed a bowl of chicken noodle soup. Which, by the way, chicken noodle soup is second only to clam chowder and chicken dumplings. Did you just sharpen a pencil? Whoa. What was that? Oh, that brings up another kind of funny story. <laughs> oh my god. This one you might actually be genuinely entertained by, unlike the last <laughs> one. It kind of got long and stupid. But this one, I had to student teach, kind of. <laughs> I'm a student helper in the high, in the elementary school. And this, I get credit for this. It's like a class, and it looks good on a resume if I want to be a teacher. So I took the thing up. I'm like, okay, maybe I'll just get the help in the high school. And they're like, nope, you're going down in the first grade for an hour every day. Okay, I'm back. Okay, hello. Okay. So, yeah, it, down, da Dynamite's telling another story. The teacher's oh, like, oh, hi, nice to meet you. And this one kid cried in first grade every day for like half an hour about how he misses his mother. And it's just getting unbearable. So, about a week later, the same kid is telling me about all his farm animals and how they all die horrible deaths. Now, this kid's kind of important because he comes into play later in the story, which isn't very long. But, so, shit, what was I talking about? <laughs> I seriously forgot. <laughs> uh, some, uh, crying kid talking about animals, animals and how they're dying remember. or something like that. What were we talking about before this? Yeah, like before the school, before I brought up the school thing. Like before this, the, oh, pencil the, sharpener. the okay. story boom. <laughs> okay, so there's a sub that came in and... Yeah. I didn't know the first graders knew how to ice the substitute, but they do. Okay, you guys know what ice that a substitute is? Nope. When you make them so nervous and they make them feel so stupid what? that they can't do anything right. So they knew all the best ways to mess with the substitute teacher. Like, and they were so innocent about it because they're so little and they had like the little kid voice. It's like, I was you doing know that. I never trust little children. Well, little children are like teenagers. So, the sub's in for like five minutes. No, you don't. I later found out this is also an interesting part. Um, I walked into the room, and all the little kids were like surrounding me. I was like, oh my god, where's the teacher, Mrs. What's her face? Which I'm not going to use her name. And this one girl who's sitting in her desk stands up and go, she got the flu. She'll be back in a few minutes, though. Okay. Got the flu. She'll be back in a few minutes. Maybe she was just feeling ill. You know, so I'm standing there. They all crowd around me. It's like, it's Monday, Mr. Nick. You have to do stuff. I'm like, what do I have to do? I don't understand. Who am I? Okay. And boom. Send me mail. Fan mail. And money so he can get Gmod. And money. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. So. Okay, hold on. Okay, am I good? What? So, so these little kids surround me, right? And what? they're trying to get me to do stuff, and I have no I earthly idea what I'm supposed to do, because yeah. apparently I don't pay enough attention to what the teacher does. And they're like, you have to do this, you have to do that. And they're all standing around me, and one of them's like shoving his homework in my face, and the other one's yelling about how his dog died by falling over a fence because it was blind and it stabbed its head open. Word for word, pretty much what he said. Anyway. 
I'm starting to freak out, and all the day I'll just start going, Crucify him! Crucify him! Let's eat him! <laughs> oh, no, they don't act. They don't really do that. But, what did I miss? Finally, the subsequent walks in, and she's like, sorry I'm late. And she's like, okay, everyone, to your seats, to your seats. Crucifixion. They're all sitting in their seats, except for one kid. The kid who was talking about his dead farm animals all the time. And he gets up, and walks over to the mechanical pencil sharpener. Have you guys been near one of them recently? <laughs> yeah. Like the thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so uh, not recently. There. He waits with his pencil there. He starts to sharpen it. Yeah, yeah, I know what they are, for yeah. him to get done. And he pulls the pencil out, and she starts talking. As soon as she starts talking, <laughs> And she, so she stops again and looks at him. <laughs> starts talking again. <laughs> Every time she started talking for the next five minutes, he started using the pencil sharp. And she looks at him finally, and she goes, what do you think you're doing? I'm just sharpening my pencil. Boom! Boom! So he sits down. And she's just glaring at him the whole time. And she starts talking again. All of a sudden, I hear, Boom! I look behind me. Another little kid has stood up and has started sharpening their pencil in the back of the room. A different sharpener. And she glares at them. She goes, are you supposed to be sharpening your pencil right now? Yes! Boom! She starts talking again. Boom! Boom! Another kid goes to the other shirt. They all are standing at the pencil sharpeners now, sharpening their pencils every time that she tries to talk. Oh my She's God. like, here's your assignment. Boom, boom, boom. Sorry, what? We were sharpening our pencil. My God, little children are evil. They were demons. And they were like, one of them ran up to the window when she was trying to get like the silent reading nap time or something. I don't even know what it was for sure, but and she's like, it's going to rain outside as rain's hitting the window and the wind's blowing. It's going to rain, you guys. And one of the kids is like, you're a poop idiot. It's already raining. And he started to cry. Again, this is the farm animal. Kid. He's kind of emotional. He's awesome. <laughs> He's yes, except he was Order. going, it's serious business. It's, so it's, it's rain. basically nerd guy. He was going, it's going to rain. As if the rain is coming <laughs> the window in the middle of the storm. And so all the kids crowd around the window and they go, Wow, we're going to have to have inside recess. And one of the ones, the only kid who's not crowded around the window, hears the words inside and recess. And he stands up from his desk and he throws his homework on the floor and he yells, Recess! And they all crowd around him and they start trying to have recess five minutes into school. <laughs> and then after that, one of them's like, You know what comes after recess? Lunch! And they all ran out of the classroom to the cafeteria and the substitute quit that next day. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god.